makes Waterloo Regional Police a unique and excellent police service it has been a focus on capturing exactly what it is we're doing on the front line, what we're doing in our support services. How is our time being allotted? Are we being the most efficient police service that we can be? Our members make us unique. We have uh, an incredible readiness level throughout the organization for adapting to change, initiating change, and being resilient. We pride ourselves in making sure we bring the right people into our organizations. Public safety in, in general comes with a whole host of, of variables that we need to address. Not the least of which is demographics and the changes in service delivery that would be required specific to certain demographics. What we have in Waterloo Region is a rapidly expanding community. We are the technology capital of Canada. We've got good infrastructure in place and a lot of people are thinking beyond Friday as to how this is going to play out in our community. The policing's no different. With university campuses come large public events, Frosh Week, St. Patrick's Day celebration, and they often present policing challenges. What our focus has been here in Waterloo is having the resources available, predicting and analyzing and being ready for those incidents when they arise. What we did was we undertook a comprehensive re-engineering of our organization. We pulled data and micro data from every one of our systems. Bringing that data together, analyzing it, um, confirming it, and then distributing it throughout the organization as usable information or intelligence. Organizational performance management in Canada has been an ad hoc, inconsistent, unsystematic process, and it's a critical issue facing police leaders. Police agencies are data rich and information poor. We have all of these variables, all of this data in front of us, but what it lacks is context. Our information systems are now being constructed that we remove the data out of our systems and we start to compile it with that contextual node applied to it. We're working with a number of companies to create mapping on our computers, mapping on our website for people at home to actually see what's happening in their neighborhood. We use proof of concept and uh, pilot projects involving multiple vendors to come up with the best solution. We also include officers, IT staff and business analysts to all take part in that process. CopLogic is our crime online reporting tool and it has an interface from our public website. It allows citizens to uh, report minor crimes online. Online reporting using CopLogic where a citizen can report from the comfort of their living room, not have to wait in a queue on a police phone line, or wait for a car to be dispatched means an officer doesn't have to be sent to their house either. Still goes into our data, still is processed, still identifies crime trends. Well, our CopLogic online crime reporting tool allows uh, citizens to create an online report that is created into an XML file which is then imported directly into our niche records management system. We use a software application from Latitude Geographic that allows us to take that call data from niche, from Intergraph, and convert it into usable mapping information that an officer gets in their car or gets at briefing and it lays out where the problems arise in their zone. For our crime mapping tool we use hourly extracts from our records management system and this ensures that everything is up to date. Uh, outstanding warrants, the police officer actually sees the warrant as soon as it's entered into the system. As the information comes up through our systems, we are now able to identify issues that are, are developing within the community. We're able to identify the um, application of our staff. Well, optimization of uh, time and resources is the main goal of our projects. Uh, we want to ensure that officers always have the right information at the right time. Really what we're looking at doing in Waterloo Region is a concept we call the four R's. It's kind of something we've adopted in-house when you talk about having officers with the right skills in the right place at the right time and in the right numbers. And that's part of that whole data analysis piece. One of the challenges was traditional police staffing has been flatlined. Five platoons with the same number of officers working around the clock, but the same number of officers working at 5.30 on Sunday morning as are needed at 1 a.m. Uh, on Friday night. Predictive analysis is where we use data that we've accumulated over the past several years to inform week by week and month by month where we can anticipate problems within the region, where we can deploy officers to to, to deal with those anticipated problems. Every decision we make, we can measure it against the analytics to determine its effect. The science of policing has to be a consistent, cyclical, perpetual evolution of processes. We've gone from traditional gut instinct policing of where we thought the problem lie 
to being able to quantify it, qualify it, and deploy towards it. And that makes a safer community. It makes us more effective. If we're not making evidence-based decisions, then we will not be contributing to an improved quality of life for our community because we won't be doing the right thing at the right time in the right place with the right people. Everything that we're talking about right now is going to change in the future, we know that. Fundamental to supporting that change is the tenant that we grab all of the information that's uh, within our organization and we move it into our systems. For us, all of this boils down to articulating the return on investment to our community.